hi guys this is Jody cooking welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna make some roast fish with some crackers yay so first I'm gonna scale one of my fish I'm just gonna show you so guys I'm using a bread knife because the bread knife make the fish easy to scale so if you don't know about this you have to try it because trust me it make your life more easy easier by you using it and scale your fish so you just want to put the fish down guys so it doesn't splash all over in your kitchen and you just want to take your time guys no rush okay and make sure you scale in between of the fish tail okay all those edges I know many people may be thinking right now, where is the head for the fish? Guys, to be honest, the fish doesn't come with no head on it. Yes, I'm not sure why, but this fish is red brim. And I really like this fish because it's full of so much meat on there. You can always buy the one with the head on it, but this one for some reason doesn't come with no head, okay? And guys, make sure you flip the fish over on the other side and you scale it also. So now guys, I'm gonna remove all the guts from the fish so as you can see right there I've got my knife and I'm just gonna cut it right there in the center okay just take your time especially if you don't know what you're doing so now I'm gonna remove all the guts from my fish so as you can see right there, I've got some foil paper on the side because I don't want to leave all the guts in my sink like that. So guys, I know you may be thinking, oh, <laughs> but you know what? You have to clean up your fish, okay? If you want to use a gloves, you can always use a gloves. But me, I prefer to use my hands because it's something that I used to do. So now that my fish is all scale and I remove all the guts, now I'm going to remove all the scale that leave inside of my sink, okay? You want to make sure you remove all of it as much as possible. So now that I remove all the scale from my sink, I'm just going to wash my fish for you guys. And the excess guts that live on the inside of it, I'm just going to take my hands and just rub it all out, okay? Growing up in Jamaica, I would normally go outside of my yard to scale my fish and to clean it or even on the seaside. But you know, when you live in a foreign country, especially outside is so cold. So you have to just do everything in your kitchen. And you know, sometimes when you scale fish, sometimes your house can be so raw, a fish. But guys, this is England or wherever foreign country you are. You just have to do what you have to do. But honestly, I miss growing up in Jamaica because you can be able to do all these things. Yeah. So this is all my four fish in my sink right there, guys. So now I'm just going to squeeze my lemon all over on my fish just to remove some of the rawness from it. So guys, you can always use lime also or even vinegar, okay? And you can also take your lemon and just rub it all over on your fish, even right there on the inside. So guys, after I rub my lemon and squeeze all the lemon juice, 
Now I'm just gonna wash my fish with my water. So now I'm gonna add my fish to my bowl. So guys, I'm just gonna give my fish just another wash and I'm telling you, my fish right now is so fresh, trust me. And make sure you drain off all the excess water, okay? So this is something that I will normally do whenever I'm scaling my fish or even cleaning my meat. I will normally use my anti-back kitchen foaming cleaner with bleach. You just spray it all over on your kitchen sink. And I'm telling you, it makes your kitchen smell so nice and fresh. And as you can see right there, I just take in my sponge and just clean it all around. Okay? And sometimes the fish will go all over on your kitchen wall right there, over to the sink. And you can always spray it and clean it also. So now I'm just using my warm water just to remove all that excess soap from my sink. And guys, don't my sink look so nice and clean? This is how Jody cooking do it behind camera. Yes, this is how I do it. Yes, straight up. So these are all of my fresh seasoning. So here I have guys, one onion, one tomato, some fresh thyme, and some spring onions, and some scotch bonnet pepper, not a lot, some okra of course, and some baby corns, okay? And I'm also gonna add three cloves of garlic. So these are all of my seasoning. Here I have one spoon of fish seasoning, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning, one teaspoon of Cajun seasoning, one teaspoon of seasoned salt, and one teaspoon of garlic powder, and just a pinch of salt. So these are my other ingredients. Here I have one pack of Exceller water crackers and I'm also gonna add one pack of pumpkin mix okay and that's the grace brand and I'm also gonna add one pack of cock flavor soup mix okay so guys I'm gonna also add one large spoonful of salted butter okay So finally, I'm gonna season my fish. So guys, I'm gonna add some olive oil to my fish just to keep it nice and moist and for the seasoning to stick on the fish also, okay? So now I'm just gonna take my hands and just rub my seasoning all together just a bit and just sprinkle it all over on my fish.
And you want to make sure guys that you put some of the seasoning inside of the fish belly also. And you're just going to take your hand and just massage all that seasoning all over on your fish. Okay? Because you want your fish to be nice and full of flavor. So guys, I just add just a pinch of salt to my fish because you know the seasoning already full of so much salt so I try to cut down on the salt. So what I'm doing, I just take my hands and just rub all that salt all over on my fish with some of my seasoning also, okay? So guys, I'll leave back some of my seasoning, so just stay tuned for the whole video. You can always leave your fish to marinate for at least 30 minutes. So now guys, I'm gonna wrap my fish. So here I have my file paper right there, and I also have all of my ingredients as you can see. So now guys, I'm gonna start off by adding my onions to my file paper okay like so just follow my instruction or you can do it whatever you preferred okay but i choose to do it this way and i'm also gonna add some fresh thyme so now guys i'm gonna lay my fish down on top of my onions and my fresh thyme So now guys, I'm going to stuff my fish with my spring onion and with some of my garlic and with some of my scotch bonnet pepper, okay? So I'm just adding some tomato on top with some garlic, with some spring onion and just a bit of scotch bonnet pepper. And guys, you don't have to do the way I'm doing it, okay? As I said, I'm just giving you guys an idea on how I do it. So I also add my okra, as you can see right there on the side. And I'm going to also add my baby carrot. And of course, my fresh thyme. And you're just going to add it on top, guys, or wherever you preferred. So now, guys, I'm going to add my remaining seasoning all over on my herbs and on my vegetables. So finally guys, I'm gonna add my crackers. You're just gonna add it all over on your fish and on the side, okay? And I'm gonna add my butter just right on top, okay? So I'm going to add my pumpkin soup mix in my strainer right there and I'm going to also add my cock soup flavor and guys make sure you add a strainer but it is optional. So what I'm doing I'm just shaking all the seasoning all over on my fish and on my crackers just a bit don't don't use all of it and then as you can see. I'm just gonna wrap my fish guys. Just take your time, okay? The reason why I use my strainer guys is because I don't want the noodle to get into my soup. So that's why I only want the seasoning of my soup mix to get into my fish, okay? So this is going to be my second time wrapping my fish. So 
So guys, this is my last fish. <laughs> yeah, finally. So now guys, I'm going to bake my fish. So here I have a large tray. And to my tray, I add my grill right there as you can see. So now I'm going to add at least one cup of water to my tray. And guys, I'm just going to add my fish right on top of my grill, okay? So I'm only going to add three fish to my tray, guys because my tray is not big enough for all that four fish and you don't want it to overcrowd okay so now i'm gonna add my fish to my oven for at least one hour and 45 minutes and 150 degree celsius so stay tuned so guys i just removed my fish from the oven and of course it is hot so make sure you be careful okay so guys what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna rip my file apart and just show you how my fish look on the inside so guys make sure you give me a big big thumbs up and share this video to all of your families to your friends and all over on your social media I will really, really appreciate it. And please, if you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe so you can receive more delicious videos like these. And hit your notification button, guys, for whenever I upload a video, you will be the first to see it. So now, guys, I'm going to taste my fish. As you can see, that liquid is on the inside, and I'm just pouring all that liquid all over on my fish. And guys, I'm telling you, the fish was so delicious. 
it was a bit spicy but it was so 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 good guys i thank you all so much for watching this video don't forget to keep laughing keep smiling no matter what because god is always on your side bye guys